I'm Laurie, and welcome to another episode of The Icing Artist. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this peony, and this cake, obviously. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to make all the petals out of just a template that I'm going to give you. So you just cut out of a piece of paper, so that way you don't have to go out and buy a cutter or anything like that. So let me show you how to do it. So the first thing you need to do is cut out your template. I'll be putting the templates in the description below. There are five sizes that you're going to be needing and you're going to need two of each size. Roll out some red fondant, place your template, well your petal, over top of your fondant and then you're just going to trace around it with your knife using the paper as a guide. Peel off your fondant and then peel off the piece of paper. Cut out the rest of your petals. Then using a thin piece of foam and a balling tool, you're going to run your balling tool around the edges of each of the flowers and that's going to create a ruffling effect and make the flowers look a lot more realistic. And you're going to want to do this to all of your petals. Did you do a voiceover? So once that's done, use a thick piece of foam and then you just want to use your balling tool again and you're pulling in on the petals like that and you can see how that will just cup up each of the petals. Place that into a little bowl to dry and then when you place your second uh, leaf, well not leaf, but the petal, <laughs> the flower um, into the bowl, you want to make sure you're staggering the the petals so that way they don't overlap each other and then you want to set them into different size bowls to dry overnight you can see that I used a large bowl for my large flowers and a small bowl for my small flowers once those have dried overnight you can use a little bit of water to help assemble your flowers together starting out with this the largest flower and then going right down to the smallest one Now to make the center of your flower, you're going to want to roll out some yellow fondant and then I'm using a calyx cutter. And then I'm going to cut each of the petals that are on this in half, so that's going to create little points. I'm going to wrap that around my balling tool just to create a cupped shape. Cut out another calyx, cut the points again, except I only want half a calyx this time. And then you can just pinch the one end together, that way all the points are facing in the same direction, and assemble that. I'm going to use a little bit of yellow color dust, and I'm very, very loosely just going to dab this onto my flower. You don't want to mix it into uh, the actual flower, you just want to dust it lightly, so that way it creates a pollen look. After you've placed the, the center of your flower onto your flower, you can just dust a little bit more around it. Now you're ready to cover your cake in fondant. I've already iced my cake and now I'm just going to roll out some white fondant. And I'm rolling this out on my plastic sheet. And then I'm going to lift the sheet up, place it over top of my iced cake, and then peel it off. And then that will leave the fondant onto the cake. As soon as you're done that, you're going to need to just take a pair of scissors and trim off the excess fondant so that way the weight of it doesn't heavily weigh down on the edges, creating cracks or rips in your fondant because that wouldn't be very good. To smooth out the fondant, pull it out and then push in with your hand going around the cake and that's going to make a really smooth effect so you don't have any creases or wrinkles in your fondant. Just pull it out and then push in with your hand. And then you can do a final trim. And just smooth out your cake. So I've decided for around the base of my cake, I'm going to do a little bit of a red ribbon. So I'm just taking some red fondant and I'm just kind of creating the shape that I want so that way I'm not rolling out a giant sheet of red fondant and then cutting out a small rectangle. So I'm just going to roll that out thin and then trim off the one edge 
and then trim off the other edge just into about a half inch rectangle. Wet the base of your cake with a little bit of water and then wrap your red fondant ribbon around it. I really like the red ribbon. Well, any ribbon around the base of a cake, it's really easy, but it looks really nice. Now for the fun part. Place a little bit of water onto the top of the cake and then you're ready to put your flour on. Be really careful when you do this because these petals are very easily to break if you kind of hit it with your hand or anything like that. So treat it very delicately. And when you're all finished, this is what it's going to look like. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you didn't want to make a red peony, if you'd rather make like a pink one or even a white one with beautiful pink dust, that would look really nice too. And um, I really hope that you guys have fun making these flowers and make your own. And if you like the video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel where I will be putting out new videos every Tuesday. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Take care. Hey, welcome to another episode of... Today I'm going to be showing you how... Yeah. <laughs>